what it do. Today we're going to see if we can make one of them AI models. Fire ship is going to teach us. If I get it done in this video, we're going to make one and kick it going. But let's tune in and show support. Allow me to introduce you to Itana. She's an Instagram model from Barcelona who's been going viral, but she's also just like totally chill and down to earth. She's into fitness and video games, and yeah, if you're wondering, she does have additional photos on her subscription tier, which brings in about 10 grand per month. Before you sign up though, there's one thing I need to disclose, and it really shouldn't matter unless you're some kind of bigot, technophobic Nazi, but she's not a biological female. She is a woman, but entirely artificial. It is November 29th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. By the end of this video, you'll know how to build your own arm Army of AI influencers entirely for free using open source generative image models like Stable Diffusion XL and checkpoints like Juggernaut that can produce highly realistic images. The first generative adversarial networks appeared about 10 years ago, and at first could only produce tiny images that you could barely make out. But now anyone can produce high resolution realistic images, good enough to trick sad lonely men into buying the NSFW content. It's extremely sad and depressing that the agency behind this thing is making a six figure income, especially during the sacred month of No Nut November. Content like like this is rotting the brains of billions of men around the world. Although they are doing a 50% off sale right now, so it does look like a pretty good value actually. Luckily, 95% of this channel is comprised of high value alpha males, which means we don't need to consume content like that. Instead, we reverse engineer it so we can exploit it for financial gain. There are many tools out there that can help you become an AI PIM. You know, you know what I mean. P, like you might be familiar with Midjourney and Dolly from OpenAI, but these are paid closed source products that also contain a bunch of unwanted safety layers. Luckily, there's a great open source ecosystem around generative AI. The most well-known base model is Stable Diffusion XL, which was released in late July 2023. Gigantic models like this take an absurd amount of computing power, but luckily it's possible to fine-tune them by creating what's called a checkpoint using some additional specialized training data. Now, you don't have to worry about this part because people have already created a bunch of different checkpoints, which you can find on websites like Civit AI, some of which are highly optimized for photorealism. Now, the next part of the puzzle is finding a UI where we can actually work with these models without having to write any code. The most well-known option is the Stable Diffusion Web UI. It's an incredibly powerful tool, but might be a little overwhelming for a beginner. There's just a lot of different buttons to push. Another cool option is Comfy UI, which has a drag and drop editor that works kind of like Blender or Unreal Engine. But the one I'm using in this video is Focus or Focus, and I'll explain why I like it in just a minute. You'll notice all these AI UIs look very similar, and that's because they're based on another open source project called Gradio. And an interesting side note is that Gradio builds the front end with Svelte. Pretty cool, but let's get started. Check out the install instructions, but basically all you do is clone the repo, create a virtual environment for Python, and install the packages. Once that's done, you run this Python script, which will then automatically download the default models in the background. These files are multiple gigabytes large, so it may take a while. The base model is Juggernaut. I'm going to really try to make this. I had to create space on my computer, but I'm going to try to make this. Let's get rich, y'all. Excel, which is based on stable diffusion and works pretty well for realistic images. You now have the power at your fingertips to print out any image you can imagine. The thing I like about Focus is that in many ways it feels similar to Midjourney, but it's free and the UI is way more intuitive. I'm running it with a modest NVIDIA 3070, and it usually takes about 45 seconds to generate two quality images. What's really cool though is that if you click on the advanced tab, you'll get options for performance, aspect ratio, and the number of images, but there's also a tab for style, and we can mix and match these different styles to get far different results results, like this retro video game style, or maybe an anime style. But in order to generate our AI influencer, I'm going to go with the default settings along with focus photograph, create a prompt that's highly specific, and add some imperfections like rough skin, no makeup, etc. to make it more realistic. And now our influencer is born. Now let's go ahead and save this as our base image, then create a new prompt. Yo, this is a money maker and check the box for input image. Drop the base image here to blend multiple images and text together. Now click on the advanced box below the image to fine tune the way the image is blended. In this case, we'll go with face swap and then write a text prompt of doing yoga at the beach, giving us that perfect shot for the gram. But most importantly, we have pretty good continuity between the faces and the hands almost look totally realistic. But when you have imperfections, you can go back to the image prompt, but this time go to inpaint or outpaint and then paint across the parts that are messed up. Tell it what you want to fix, then it will regenerate those parts of the image. Congratulations, you just built your own artificial influencer. You did it! But photos are only the beginning. Yesterday, Pika Labs released an insane video demoing their text-to-video platform. It's closed source, but luckily Stability AI just introduced Stable Diffusion Video last week, and I can only imagine what kind of depraved content you guys will use that for. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So we make it and we get them to... I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like
like, comment, and subscribe. Yo, drop a banger if you're going through this technique. Let me know how y'all do.